Hey, I am Halal. You are watching my channel, Elcon, Pandua. In this video, I'm going to discuss on, the working process of LED matrix display. So, watch the video, without skipping a single step. In recent decade, ready-made DMD modules like P10, P6, are increasingly available in the market, which are being used, to develop, LED scrolling text display, around the world. Control cards, are, also available like this. But here, I will show you, the working process of, homemade LED matrix. Let's start. In this process, you must design your font, like these. I have done my job with my own software, but you can do it with any vector graphic software, like, Inkscape, or other free software. Online free platform is also available to you. Alternatively, you can also do the job with a normal graph sheet, and, a pencil like this. After completing the job, it is necessary to collect, data bytes of each character, to load those, into your software code. This is the block diagram. There is a microcontroller, which controls each hardware elements of this circuit. I have used seven input-output pins, to control seven rows, and three input-output pins to control shift resistor ICs, as data, clock, and strobe. The LED matrix, I have designed in a very conventional way. Here, all anodes of same column are soldered together to form an anode column. Also all cathodes of same row, are soldered together to form a cathode row. After sending a data bit pattern to shift resistor ICs, the microcontroller activates strobe signal to make the data bits available to shift resistors output pins. Then the microcontroller activates one of its seven row driver pins, to show the bit pattern on, that row of the matrix. If it activates another row, then the bit pattern is shown on the activated row. Now, it's time to dive into inside the microcontroller. Here, I have shown the internal memories of the microcontroller. There are two types of memories, RAM, or, random access memory, and, ROM, or, read-only memory. I have, arranged, a RAM matrix, identical to the LED matrix, named, display buffer. In order to simplify my illustration, I showed, only one-fifth of actual matrix here. Another portion of 7 into 8 matrix, I have arranged, named, character buffer inside the RAM. This portion of the ROM, is called lookup table. Actually, this is a portion of your code, burnt into program memory, in which, you must load data bytes, of your every character, sequentially. There are, only 7, 8-bit bytes, because I have shown, only one character here. Binary bit patterns are shown here, with the color of each bit. The yellow bit indicates 1, and the black bit indicates 0. After getting first character of the massage buffer, the microcontroller, decode it, and copies, all seven bytes, of that character, one by one, from lookup table, and, loads those into character buffer, row after row, like this. Then each row of the RAM buffer, shifts, its bits, one step left till the ending row, like this. After bit shifting, the leftmost column of the character, enters into the rightmost column, of display buffer. Here, the refreshing process, comes into action. In this subroutine, data bytes, from display buffer, are copied one by one, and shifted to the LED matrix, through shift resistor IC. The bit pattern is shown on the right row of the matrix, with activating right row drive signal by the microcontroller. The the bit shifting process, and the refreshing, are repeated, until the character buffer, become empty. This is a formica sheet. I drilled it, with an electric drill machine. After mounting, all LEDs, it looks, like this. I have soldered anodes and cathodes, as I mentioned before. As there are 40 LEDs, in one row, I have implemented, 5 shift resistor, ICs. 
every output pins of each IC is connected to each individual column through a 330 ohms resistor, you see. This is my controlled card. I used transistors as row driver and connected seven outputs to seven rows of the matrix. I also connected control signals to shift resistor IC with wires. Now, I am going to my computer screen to show you my code. This is my code. I have assigned port pins here. Here is my declaration of global variables. I have taken an array here as my lookup table. Look. There are seven bytes for every character. Here, I have used a delay, which is responsible for refresh rate. If this delay is increased, the refresh rate is decreased. And vice versa. I have already compiled this code in order to generate hex file. Now, come to the practical world. This is my programmer. Now, I am connecting it to my computer through this USB cable. It's connected. Now I will insert the microcontroller into the GIF socket. Now I will open the software window of this programmer like this. After loading the hex file, generated by the compiler, to the buffer, I should have to erase the IC, to make it blank. Then I clicked on the program button, and look. The code is transferring into microcontroller. Now, it's time to insert my loaded IC, into, its socket, on control card. I have connected this adopter to provide power supply to control card, as well as the matrix. Now, check it out. Look, here, I implemented refresh rate as 1 by 7. So, very slow refresh is being observed here. It shows different bit pattern, on different row, but no character is visible at all. I am going to increment refresh rate step by step and see what happened.
Okay, we are now, at the end of this video. If you consider this video to be useful, please, subscribe my channel, and click on the bell button so that, my incoming video notification, can knock you first. Thank you for watching this video.